All right, now that we've formatted our splash screens and our icons, we're going to begin customizing what are called nine patch splash screens. Nine patch is a special Android phrase that refers to a type of splash screen where the center of the splash screen is preserved while the outer regions are stretched to fill the entire device home screen. In this case, we've placed a pink bounding box around our splash screens so that we know exactly where the logo should go and which regions of the splash screen will get stretched. Uh, one important thing to consider is that this pink box here won't show up in the final asset. This is simply to tell us which area of the splash screen um, should be preserved. It's called a bounds layer. And we actually don't want to touch this layer or change the file name or anything like that. We're simply going to re repeat the process that we did for the other splash screens by positioning our logo in the center, deleting the old MyBank logo, and making sure that it's aligned vertically and horizontally. So to get started, we can once again duplicate an old MyBank logo that we've been using already in this template. And we'll grab it and move it in the work window down into position on top of the splash-x.9.ping asset. And then in our layers list, we remember that we can select the, the folder we want to move it into by clicking on the background layer. And then by grabbing our copy here and moving it into position within the splash-x.9.ping subfolder. Now we can delete that old MyBank logo. We'll highlight our new MyBank logo and scale it down by holding Shift and Alt. We hit Return to save our changes, get it a little closer, scale it a little more, and that looks good. Now we'll just want to highlight uh, both our MyBank logo and the back down background rectangle. You'll notice that in between the two is this nine patch lines folder. And we actually would like to highlight only the MyBank logo and the background layer. And to do that, instead of holding shift, we can select the layer and hold command and select the other layer which we'd like to align to. And then we simply will align vertically and align horizontally. And we're going to repeat that process for the H and the M splash screens. So again, we'll duplicate our layer, move it into position, find the background layer, drop it in front of our background layer, delete the old MyBank logo, highlight both layers. Well, actually, first let's scale it down to size. Hold Shift and Alt, hit Return, select both, align vertically, align horizontally. And we'll do this one more time for the MDPI. Command J, move into position, grab it in the work window, move it over, grab a corner, hold Shift and Alt, drag down, hit Return. We'll delete the old MyBank logo, select both the new MyBank logo and the background layer, align vertically, align horizontally, and we're done. Uh, now we've finished customizing our Android splash screens, which is really easy, uh, but there's one last thing we can do just to make sure that these have been formatted correctly. And if you zoom really, really tight on the edge of any of the splash screens for the nine patch images, you'll notice a fine one pixel pink line with two black one pixel dots in the corners. And if we scroll over to another corner, we can see another dot. If we zoom out, you'll notice that these are on each image. It's really important that these dots are positioned correctly for the export process. And if you've finished customizing and you zoom in and you notice that maybe it looks like this or maybe uh, it looks like that, you'll want to start over and you'll want to undo your, your changes you've made by holding Alt, Command, and Z. And that's a great way to step backwards. You can also, up here in the Edit menu, choose Step Backward from the options. And if we check these out, it looks like they're all correct. And so we can go ahead and zoom out by holding Command and hitting Minus. And that's it. We've customized splash screens for nine patch images.